No, I see. Yeah. Okay. Well, there were five trustees on the boat, but no children. Thank God for that small mercy. The first thing is to find out how it happened. Was it sabotage? I have a theory about the sabotage, sir. Either a simple timing device or even a firing mechanism activated by the automatic changeover to the reserve fuel tanks. Makes sense. There's also been a reported theft from the local quarry. Dynamite and detonators. Why the hell wasn't I told about it? It's only just been reported, sir, just before we arrived. Then it's definitely a sabotage. We need evidence of the explosion first. I have three boats out now, sir, collecting debris. Mark, you need somewhere to work. I will. Excuse me, sir, but I've arranged for itemization facilities at the quayside. Disused custom shed. Thank you. And our local GP, a Dr. Knight, is available if required. He's at the quayside now. I'll certainly need him. It's not a pleasant job. There'll be little enough left of those on board. Got everything you want. As long as I have this, I can manage. Very some laboratory space at the cottage hospital. Sergeant. Thank you again, Inspector. was sabotage, it needed specialist knowledge. Not difficult to come by these days. Five dead in one go. Five more dead trustees. Now, Bala Police Station, Inspector Grant. Inspector Grant, I... I want to report a missing child. It's a little boy. No, we, we've searched all the buildings at Grants. He, he's gone. Uh, his name is Sidney Molson. Yeah. Seven years old. Tall for his age. Fair hair and... And uh, wears a dental brace. Yeah. Thank you, Mrs. Ellis. Be with you as soon as possible. Did no one realise the danger these children were in? Police have been posted at Inver House. Not inside the house or ground, sir. The trustees refuse to have the children alarmed. Chief Constable, I want every available man from the mainland. Inspector, you will organize local volunteers for a search. You will need at least one helicopter, right, sir. You will allocate and brief the advanced sections. Would you also brief the party when it arrives from the mainland? Inspector, you will set up your control post outside the main entrance to Inver House. Stay there and maintain continuous radio contact. I want every inch of this island searched before nightfall. Thank you, Tango 4. Carry on. Did you get that, Colonel? Yes, Grant. Is Mr. Cameron with you? He's gone into Inver House, trying to talk them into having a couple of men inside the house. Ask him to contact me in 30 minutes, will you? I'll be at the key side. I'll do that, sir. It's for yourselves as well. Chief Constable, we must put the well-being of the children first. Yes, two of my men inside the house would be very disturbing. Police would immediately mean that something is wrong. But the constables would be in plain clothes. They would be strangers. We know the children and what is best for them. It's sheer blind stubbornness. No, Chief Constable. It's love. Then you refuse? Excuse me. 
Excuse me. What is it, young lady? You're a policeman, aren't you? Am I now? Yes, I know you are. Those are your men waiting for you. Well, what if they are? What's your interest? What's yours? Eh? What's your interest in us? We're perfectly safe here. We're not going to be attacked. Now, who said anything about being attacked? Mary, dear. Run along now. There's Dr. Rose wants you. Oh, please wait. No, no, you run along. Mary. Now, if you could report to me on that. Yeah. Everything arranged, sir? They refuse to have us, Grant. Not even one man. Uh, Sheer idiocy. Uh, the message from Colonel Bingham, sir. You're to meet him in 30 minutes at the quayside. Of course. The boat with the reinforcements. By God, we can do with them. The locals have done wonderfully well so far. To the quayside. Tell Bingham I'll be there. What were you saying to that man, dear? The policeman. What makes you think he's a policeman? He told me he was. Did he tell you what he was doing here, Mary? No. Shall I tell you? Would you like to know? Yes, please. Sit down. Do you know that big farm on the other side of the island? Well, the farmer there has had some of his sheep killed. He's asked the police to help find the culprit. Some local dog, they think. So the policeman came to interview Shelley. Do you think Sherry did it? <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, why do they want three policemen to interview a dog? <laughs> well, I'm selling a dog. She's not here. I know. Right, I'm with you, Matt. Ah, good. <laughs> Here we go. My luck bank there. Uh, 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 hey. Hello there. Mr. Cameron, sir. Saw you from the road. You're doing a grand job, lads. We appreciate you saying so, sir. We'll find them, never fear. Thanks now. Well, they'll never find it, you know that. Aye. Maybe, uh, maybe. There's still a boy, though. Uh, Jamie, you know what, kids, I'll be away home for supper. Here we go, here. Way! Come on, folks. That's, that's it. Come on. Here. Hey! Death was instantaneous. Aye. I'll take this to the laboratory freezer right away before postmortem changes are too advanced. Thanks. I'll be over there later on. <laughs> 